All right, so these are our four air guns, air cannons, whatever you want to call them. Um, the one here on the far right is one of the first ones I made. That's about the third one I made. This one here we actually hooked to the air compressor. And it's electric powered, oh, 9 volt battery powered. You can see there's a little box we got from Radio Shack for the 9 volt battery. Push button, wires go to the electric sprinkler valve, and this is the pipe right here, the barrel rather. This one right here is one of the next ones I made. And this one here we figured out a way to hook the uh, bicycle pump to it. And bicycle pump, we could usually manually put about 80 pounds in it by pumping it. And same thing, electric sprinkler valve, but this one here we do manually with this little thumb switch right here. It automatically releases the, the air. We still have the solenoid in it, but we just cut the wires, just plug in the hole. And again, the barrel, these barrels are one inch PVC pipe. They're perfect for frozen hot dogs, tater tots, cherries, large grapes, uh, large marshmallows. Kind of rolled a little bit though to make them fit in there. Uh, super bounce, bouncy balls will fit perfectly in them also. This one here is a little later on, one I made. Uh, again, the same setup with the bicycle pump. This is also a 9 volt battery. Goes up to a Rainbird uh, sprinkler valve, and then same thing up to one inch barrel on it. Setup. Uh, this one here is the last one we made. Uh, my son and I made this one just this past summer. And I'll go over a little bit later. I'll put it up on a table to show you. But it's the same setup also. Uh, nine volt battery setup. This one here we have the the uh, arm handle extension with the red push button electric and this is an orbit sprinkler valve um, same thing they're all one inch every one of them is one inch and this one here I actually have screwed into it there's a half inch PVC pipe barrel and this is perfect for the mini marshmallows uh, baby carrots stuff like that it will flatten a mini marshmallow as flat as a piece of paper you know you put 90 pounds into it with your bicycle pump there and then you splatter it against the wall and it will flatten like a pancake. I'll show you that in a little bit. Okay, so this is the last one we made this past summer here. I'll go over it real fast on what it is if you don't know how these things operate. They're basically like a paintball gun or the pumpkin chuckers or even uh, air rifles. Um, this right here in the end from right here to the end here all the way up to where the valve is is right here where the valve starts this is all the tank the air tank they don't take much you know you see the videos and the people's plans with these curved uh, curved tanks that go up and around and stuff but they really don't take that much air um, this is only about a six inch piece of one and a half inch uh, PVC pipe right there capped it's connected into a one inch PVC pipe and the one inch pipe goes all the way up to the valve up here where I've got a, a male adapter, screws into the valve, and you want to screw these into the valve in case the valve goes bad, you could unscrew them. Because if you glue them in and the valve goes bad for whatever reason, you're pretty much screwed. And then uh, out the other end here is the male adapter into the barrel, whichever size barrel you want. Now again, this is half inch. I could thread on um, the one inch if I want. I could thread on the one inch onto it. Now again, the valve is just a basic uh, sprinkler valve. This is an Orbit, or well, I guess it's Watermaster, uh, one inch automatic sprinkler valve. So anyway, let's start the end here. We got a one and a half inch cap, about a six inch piece of one and a half inch pipe, one inch, one and a half inch coupler. Plugged into the end is a one and a half to one inch uh, slip adapter to slip the one inch pipe into. And again, the one inch pipe goes to right here. This is a T, a one inch to half inch T. Uh, slip on the one inch, half inch thread here. You do half inch thread because then you're going to buy a, a, a half inch uh, galvanized adapter, half inch with an eighth inch threaded hole in the top. And you want the eighth inch threaded hole in the top because you'll want to buy the valve stem. And I got most, I got everything here at Lowe's. The valve stem you can get at Lowe's also, it's over with their, their well, their water well products and stuff. If you can't find it there, just go to Cragen or somewhere like that and they'll sell a valve stem. But that's eight, it's eighth inch. 
you know, threads into there. And don't worry about Teflon tape and all that kind of crap because you're going to put air in it and you're not going to have it in there long enough for it to even leak anything out. So don't even worry about threading that with Teflon tape, any of those threads. Okay, now how I got this uh, bicycle pump connected onto it is something I've only been able to find at Lowe's and they're called saddles. And it looks about like this right here. This one here is a uh, <clears throat> threaded one inch and I screwed up and I bought the wrong size. This is a three quarter inch saddle. But what I have here is threaded one inch and then one inch saddle. And what they do is they snap on just like so. Of course this one's too small so it won't do it. <clears throat> but you want to get the one inch saddles because the one inch saddles fit perfectly around most air pumps, bicycle pumps. They snap on around there just like they'll snap onto the pipe. Now I've glued them to the pipe. <clears throat> Once I figured out where they need to be placed, I've glued them onto the pipe. So these are, basically they do nothing. They're just holding pipe as you can see. But again, I've only been able to get them at Lowe's. This one here I, have, I painted black. But anyway, so you got the one inch saddles on. Then I have one inch uh, threaded nipples and I think they're one inch long also. And it threads into the other ones as you can see. And then the bicycle pump basically snaps in. I usually wire tie these on, zip tie them, whatever you want to call it, onto it. Okay. And then, of course, the bicycle pump pumps to there. Then you go up to the valve there, and again, the valve is just threaded on. No big deal. And you go up to your barrel, whichever you have there. Now, the wiring on this, <coughs> if you're lucky, you could find a valve that has a manual flip lever like this guy right here. But I believe they've discontinued them. And now they have some twisty, turny thing that you can't release the air fast enough. The whole trick behind this is to release the air as fast as you can. And a straight shot also. So, but anyway, we're, we're not using the manual on this. I've gone ahead and hooked up the electric. And the electric is just a 9-volt battery. So the solenoid runs, the two, got the two wires that run around. And they run into this junction box I picked up at Radio Shack for a couple bucks. And there's a 9-volt battery inside here. I've got the two wires from a solenoid run in. And uh, wires go over to the switch. Again, I got the push button uh, on-off switch from Radio Shack for a couple bucks also. Um, and, you know, basic wiring. I've connected them in there to the 9-volt battery. Uh, the whole works. You can even get the 9-volt battery uh, connector from Radio Shack. I think everything I've got at Radio Shack, Shack the box, uh, this button here, and there's a light on the other side, and there's actually a buzzer here we had hooked up originally. So when you push the red button, it went, it buzzed at you. But right now, all we have is when you push the, the red button, it releases the air, and the red light goes on right over there. Um, and this is basically the the wire, you know, cover stuff for cars and stuff. I actually picked this up at Lowe's also, and it's just to cover the wires, make it look a little prettier. Um, now the handle here is again a one inch saddle. Uh, PVC fitting um, up to one inch uh, well actually I think this is half inch but anyway up to an adapter and this here is just a 45 L I picked up at Lowe's over in the electrical department it's the gray PVC pipe um, and it's just a 45 L it slips on right here into this this uh, adapter that goes from slip to thread and of course I hooked it on again it does nothing but how's that button there yeah, you can't see it, but anyway, that's all it is. It's a handle. It does nothing but hold that button and gives you something to hold on to. Now, the junction box, um, I've connected with these two gray uh, one-inch uh, electrical conduit connectors. And these are just basically one-inch clamps. And I've connected them to the box, you know, drilled a few holes in that. In order to make them fit on there, I had to put some electrical tape to uh, tighten it up a little bit. But anyway... On the back here, I actually had a switch at one time to control the buzzer, but the buzzer, buzzer was sucking the battery down, so buzzer's not there. It's cut off. I mean, it's there, but not really. Anyway, so that's kind of the gist of it. And, uh, of course, you could paint them whatever colors you want. They're pretty cool. But kids love them. And I'm going to go ahead and fire one up here in a second. Okay, so this is some of the ammo we're going to test out in uh, the newest gun I have with the half-inch PVC pipe uh, barrel. I have some uh, small red grapes, mini carrots, and uh, the mini marshmallows. Now one thing I want to, uh, I should have pointed out to you a little bit ago, 
is make sure when you're gluing this together, you got to use the good glue, um, heavy duty glue, the, the gray, and you want to primer it and then glue it. Um, as you can see on this piece of pipe right here, um, it's good for 160 psi. This is the one and a half inch that's up to uh, 160 psi. The one inch is actually, I think, 400 psi. But since the tank is uh, one and a half inch, you know, you need to keep it down there. I try not to go over 100 psi on anything because really you put these marshmallows in it and even at, at 80 and 90 psi, they pretty much splatter before they leave the barrel. The carrots, same thing, they'll splatter. If you're shooting hot dogs with a bigger barrel, they have to be frozen. If they're not frozen, they'll splatter before they leave the barrel. Um, frozen tater tots are perfect and cherries are perfect also. Um, I'll show you here in a minute what uh, super balls do, those super bouncy balls, what they do to things and how far they go. But let me load this thing up and let's do marshmallows first. And basically all we're doing is uh, dropping them down to barrels like so and they'll fall down in there. Okay, so I'm going to put about 20 pumps into this. Now they give me about 60 psi. Yeah, one of the marshmallows come out. Basically pump it until you can't pump anymore either. So I'm shooting at that cabinet right there. And I'm, I don't know. 20 feet away. So this is what it does the marshmallow. Okay, so I'm going to drop a baby carrot down in there, half a baby carrot down in there. And basically I'm going to pump until I, I can't pump anymore. that's about 20. Anyway, it should probably put a hole through that, but we'll take a look and see. Yeah, it put a hole through it. So this is what it did. It got a hole through there. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's baby carrots splattered all over the door. And it put a nice big giant hole right there. I really shouldn't have did this. This is a nice cabinet. And I will totally get busted for it. Okay, just going to show you the power on this. Just dropped the other half inch piece of carrot down inside the pipe there. Pumped it up until I can't pump it anymore. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blast it right straight at the roof here. And it will probably disintegrate before it leaves, but we're going to go ahead and do it. And I'm going to get drenched with carrots. Alright, so what I've now done now is I dropped two marshmallows down inside there and pumped until I can't pump anymore. Again, I'm just going to shoot it right to the roof. Up there. this is what they do, they just kind of flatten out. So anyway, that's the gist of these air guns here. As you can hear the, the power behind them, they're, they're uh, pretty powerful. And they can really put the hurts to you if you accidentally shot yourself with something or shot somebody with something. Um, but I'll show you one last attachment here of what we've done. This is uh, actually a two inch uh, coupler, PVC coupler. And we screw that thing on there, and uh, a tennis ball fits perfectly in there. And actually, I need to put, I haven't put the pipe in there, but you put two inch pipe in there, and a tennis ball will fit perfectly in there. Or people use them for t shirt guns. You know, you could uh, roll up a t shirt, rubber band it, and stuff it down in there, and it will launch a t shirt uh, also. But just another attachment to it. Uh, tomatoes, I guess you could put in there also, but we have this little short piece right now because 
you put it in there and uh, pull the trigger and it makes a super loud bang noise type thing. I'll show you one other thing here. The super balls I was telling you about. We launched super balls from our driveway down the street here. And way down the road down there, there's a pickup. And uh, beyond that pickup there, there used to be a blue uh, porta potty. We were hitting a blue porta potty with uh, super balls from here. And that's probably at least 200 yards from here, if not farther. Anyway, so they launch. Anyway, don't bother buying any of that, those plans or that garbage you, you see uh, on, or making your own valves and stuff like that. You don't need to modify sprinkler valves. You know, a nine volt battery works perfect. If you can find one that has the manual lever, that works even better. So you don't have to worry about the wiring. You don't need a long giant tank. You just need a short tank. Um, Cause it's not really about how much air you have. It's more about the pressure. Because basically once your, your uh, projectile, whatever you have, leaves the barrel, the air does you no more, does, doesn't do you any good anymore. So it's about the initial pounds per square inch of air. So you don't need the long tank and the bent tank and all that kind of stuff. You need a short tank um, that, and you can get lots of air pressure out of it that way. Um, but as you can see, it's, it's real simple. The whole thing cost me 50 bucks. Uh, the, all the fittings and sprinkler valve and stuff I picked up at Lowe's for about 30 bucks. The uh, bicycle pump I picked up at uh, Walmart for 10 bucks. And then the Radio Shack parts, you know, was about 10 bucks also. And the only cut I had was this pipe here. I had to cut that pipe to size. And then I had to cut the one inch pipe to size. Um, the one inch pipe, I was able to buy a three foot piece, I think, at Lowe's. You could, of course, buy the 10 foot, I usually do. But I bought a three foot piece and it, it made the barrel plus that little stretch right there. Uh, the one and a half inch pipe, I think you could buy at Lowe's ABS pipe, the black ABS pipe in short lengths, and it will fit with the, the white PVC pipe. It glues together the same, the whole works. And you could buy that ABS pipe in short lengths also, so you don't have to buy a 10 foot piece of the PVC. But anyway, it doesn't take much. Again, it's cost me about 50 bucks to put together. So you can see, and lots of fun.